can't find it on my list, unfortunately. I know. I know where I go. Hmm. And we have it. It's not on this list. Um, look on the laptop. There, ah, one laptop. of the tabs. One of the tabs yeah. should be open. We try to give you the team list now here. So. Let's try this. So we have uh, the Turkish team with the with Hakan, Toca. Unfortunately, they have not provided us the names. Hakan, uh, Toca, Ekin, Koç, Kerem, Demir, Osan, Özdemir, Berkan and Mert, Sürükülüklü. <laughs> Ilkan, Gökat, Onur, Ceylan, Ugur, Ceylan, Fate, Azkarak, Khan, Basir, Chikloklu, Khan, Boskut und Ümit, Filiz. Ja, yeah, I hope it was your, your Turkish <laughs> is spotless. <laughs> tamam, tamam. Tosun, your Turkish is just like, I <laughs> love it. Bin Can you sing me a song <laughs> in Turkish, please? Unfortunately not. I can't say it. <laughs> so, and the other team is Firenze. Let's jump to, uh, to the... Squad of Firenze, which is uh, with the number two, Gabriele Gianni, uh, Dario Baldi with number three, five, Ferenco Caraba, number nine, Michelangelo Bruni, 12, Umberto Vagelli, 13, Carlo Cavaliere, 17, Giulio Giacci, 23, Samuel Moschi, 25, And Andrea Menegin, 32, Lodovico Vagelli, 33 Fabio Neri, 41 Antonio Lubaido, 69 Andrea Pacini, 88 Alessandro Ruoco. And the referees are uh, on the uh, chief referee is from Norway, Kai, and uh, Jose from the US, and Tommy from Denmark. And uh, I think Jose is uh, uh, also applying as an international referee. So we have uh, Jen and Robert uh, watching the game uh, for his uh, final exam. So let's see uh, um, if we have a clearer picture from the Turkish team here. I'm sure it will uh, for sure be a difficult game for Firenze, for the Italians. And here we are in the game and Turkey is already going in with a lot of speed and a lot of push into the defense of the Italians from the... Oh, there's, there's in the change uh, a push from the close side but the ball carrier was tackled away and the second wave comes in now from the open side the player tries to attack from above and tries to swim into the goalkeeper and there's a call from the referee pushing without ball and it's a free throw against Turkey here yeah so we see right now this is quite typical this is also what we have seen at the junior world championship that the Turkish team usually are like if you say a boxer you're playing at 12 rounds they're bringing their their hard hits immediately at the beginning of the game so they try to score in the first two to three minutes or after longer breaks so uh, this is where they come very heavily and very strong and uh, yeah we have seen that so from so far very well done by Firenze very nice pass here now on the open side of the basket there's a second wave now it seems to be the best chance so far well well done oh but Wow, this was very cool well Firenze. defended, very well defended, Firenze, but with a lot of this energy. This was great now, this was very awesome. Because look how fast the Turkish players yeah. go into the defense. So it is really difficult for uh, Firenze to keep that speed up in defending all the time against wave, against wave, against wave. But you see the biggest difference in the in the game style of the players. You see the Turkish team, they are, they are immediately or they are usually jumping with the head in front in the, in the opponent. And then they're having always like here, so with the head 
forward they're going into the goalkeeper or into the defender trying to make their uh, a space trying to get their spot and then they're trying to put the ball through so this was a very nice attack the yeah. initial attack comes from the from the um, from the midfield when one player was immediately swimming inside of the defender with his hands um, with his long hands and the ball holding in both hands and he passed through the ball uh, on the open side there was another player who was immediately speeding and, and crashing with his head in front into the goalkeeper making their space and putting the ball in well played by the Turkish team and it's a 1-0 lead for uh, the Turkish team uh, DYSK uh, and uh, it's uh, in blue and Firenze in white and now Firenze is trying to return the favor and uh, we see the Firenze team on the surface uh, in the Turkish half but this was a nice pass to the goalkeeper who tried to go for a counter attack but it was right in the hand of an Italian player who was immediately tackled by two Turkish players in the middle of the pool and uh, Italy really has a hard time here. This was another good chance Whoa, here now. Awesome. One on one situation counter attack Number from a Turkish nine. player going into the uh, Italian goalkeeper and pushing him up in a very textbook like attack. Very well done and this is a 2-0 uh, for the Turkish team against the Italian team. Unfortunately we don't have the names um, for the numbers. So we just received a list with names but without numbers so we cannot give you the name and yeah but it was number nine so if you know who's number nine he scored now here the two zero so where are you watching from tell us in the live chat what is your hometown what is your country and another attack from turkey they this go really in with no yeah, hesitation with long arm he, he was swimming inside of the defender and then he was with his arm you know uh, bringing uh, trying to find a way to pass and even the defender lost the uh, overview, he lost the ball out of his eyes. The, the, so the it's a very dangerous situation. The Italians still hold on, but uh, the you see they are overwhelmed by this constant attack. It's like it's not ending. They, they, the, they, the Turkish pull out a little bit, but they go in the second wave or the yeah. third wave. The next wave comes in with so much speed, so the the Italians just hold on to their bare life here at the at the basket. And now we have. Uh, a cluster on the surface, I guess, or it's the ball is uh, in the corner and the throw. surface, and it's a free throw against uh, Turkey. So far, it's a very, very nice game from the Turkish team and a, a very tough defending from the Ferenc team. Uh, we, we expect that the Turkish will probably be the better team um, related to all their experience and the, the uh, you can say, the results they, they've shown at the EuroLeague and the youth championships. And uh, so there, there is very st they, Turkey turned to a very strong underwater rugby nation in the last couple of years. And uh, this is the one of the older generations. Yeah. What we saw at the World Championships for Eunice in Oberhausen. That it is the yeah, next yeah. next uh, Tarkan race generation, which has uh, already another beat uh, compared to the gameplay of yeah. these uh, guys here. Very nice how fast they go forward, always in two or three, and how fast they change the the ball back forward. So they outswim the defense and uh, force them to change their uh, position around the basket until opening space. The team I expected to see in the first game against uh, Vienna. Now you think you think there is a free throw, but it's not. The Turkish team is bringing the ball to the surface. All the players are breathing. They're taking now the brief and the energy um, to score here. Now you see a player here taking the position of the defender. And uh, usually now they should take, they're going to attack from the open side. But they're not, oh, this, this was not well done. I expected here more. Because this was, was a very good chance given by Firenze, uh, which was not really in a good position here. We have a question in the live chat yeah. if the uh, games will be uh, archived and uh, on available. Yes, they will be, but we have to upload them later on. So another attack and uh, another tour, 12. another goal. And it's uh, all it's it's the same pattern. They go in with a lot of push yeah. when they have the chance to score in this way, and when they open up uh, and soften the defense, and then they go in with one decisive push and goal and score. So it's a three-zero lead already after about uh, six minutes in the first half of this game against Firenze. And we see a certain pattern. If you remember, there were all three goals were made from the open side. So they came into the defender. They passed through the open side. There was always waiting someone uh, to receive in the goal and to score. And it was the, the third time uh, there was a 1-1 situation from the open side to score. 
like with the exception of this counter attack. So two goals from the open side, and one was a one-one situation uh, where he was scoring. So it seems to be there. The Turkey had have here a certain strategy about to bring effort, but then bringing the ball on the open side. Maybe we'll be, we'll be wondering if it's the same then when they have their after the halftime when they change the side. I'm really curious oh, no, now. Open side another another closer. goal for uh, Turkey and. The same attack pattern, going in, yeah. softening the defense, going from side to side, and then scoring when whenever there's a chance. Yeah. I'm I'm really looking forward now to the last uh, game of the day um, when we see the Turkish Bamberg game Turkish against uh, Bamberg. This will be the test for uh, for the Turkish for team. Both teams, yeah. Yeah, and for Bamberg too. That's true. So uh, Firenze is looking at another two and a half minutes here in the first half uh, against Turkey. And uh, uh, this was a bad pass uh, intercepted by a yeah. Turkish player. And you you expend a lot of energy fighting your way through, yeah. and then you have to f uh, you have to hunt behind these very and fast you see swimming how quick Turkish players. There is now, fortunately, the Turkish made mistakes by passing the ball because they have already been um, so that they let already the defender behind them. But then the defender could catch up because Turkey made two really shit passes. You can you need to say it like that. So they wasted some time. They lost some time by making this un. Un, uh, unprofessional passes so this was the only chance now here the defender could catch up and and defeat this good scoring chance for Turkey after this uh, massive pass we had here from the Italian players so far everything is all right the boss mistakes of both sides which uh, of course that there's no score in this situation no no goal in this situation but as you see it's the same the number seven years taking the position waiting to leave in the basket. No, they oh, all the, the ball was dropping down. Yeah. There was a, a misunderstanding uh, between the players. Ball was dropping down, but doesn't matter. In this team, yeah. they recover the ball very fast, and they are immediately in the counter attack, going in on the basket pass again. Behind the ball, uh, behind the leg. So, it's the same. So you see also number seven again coming here from the open side, giving a signal to his team player by touching him. So we, are, I'm here. Give me the ball. So we have a, be a, a, pattern, yeah. a question from Carolina Urubiano. It is uh, the team from uh, Turkey, Turkey YSK yeah. against uh, the team from Italy, Firenze. And Firenze is in white and the Turkish team is in blue. And there's a call from the referee, free throw against Italy. So, so far we have uh, a 4 0 lead. We don't have the, we the don't scores have the score and the time so far, right now. But it should be around 4 0 if I remember right. We have again now here number seven. Again, the water from the open side starting the attack. Try by, I by himself, you know, giving the ball. And the ball and control is very the ball, nice. Yeah. They're trying to bring the players to rise them up. And there was a score. Very nice. Have you seen it? The, the attacker is attacking the, 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 the goalkeeper immediately. And, and then all the, all the people are concentrating on him. So the attacker is attacking him, the defender is attacking him, and so there's more and more free space at the bottom around the basket. And while this player is passing the ball down, all the players are coming to the surface, which makes it much more easier for this player receiving the ball. He had the time and the space to score. So this is our, these are certain mistakes you need um, yeah, to, to uh, pretend against such a team. This is and... Uh uh, this is the uh, end of the first half. We are now in the in the three minutes break between the the two halves, and uh, what I'm very uh, um, respect you see the the ball possession and the ball control the Turkish have when they go in is quite good. So they go in, uh, ca create chaos. They pull, like Tosin just said, they pull the defending team uh, upwards to create space. Then the pass goes either to the side or downwards, and very seldom they they lose the ball and uh, it's very difficult for the Austri Austrians to get hold of the ball and to strip it out of their hands the ball the Turkish ball control is very good in passing and controlling the ball inside the defense of the Austrians so quite impressive game and I'm really looking forward to the game of uh, the last game of the day against Bamberg which will be about uh, 9:30 today so uh, this year we have uh, three full days of games so it's a little bit more relaxed we don't start at seven o'clock in the morning we don't go until uh, 12 o'clock in the in the night yeah. we had that too so today we started at nine and we stop um, probably we're a little bit late but nevertheless we will be uh, uh, fi have finished at 10 
this will be a first for me for the Champions Cup since uh, Lorena and me are do the commentaries because normally we have to be here at 7 and leave at uh, 12 so it's quite uh, relaxing you're watching now um, a game uh, of Firenze in white against uh, DYSK from uh, Turkey and uh, Turkey is leading 5-0 against Firenze and Turkey like I said in blue and Firenze in white and we're getting close to the second half which will be another 10 minutes you're watching the Champions Cup uh, in the 13th edition here uh, 50 years of uh, constant cons uh, Champions Cups in Berlin organized by Winfried Zülke uh, the Champions Cup is an independent cup here for the club uh, winners of a nation and we have uh, 15 nations here uh, 15 men team and 12 women team so altogether 27 teams which is the biggest champions cup we ever had in the history and the thing so far Thorsten is it uh, the biggest uh, competition underwater rugby that was ever held ever 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 ever, ever, ever. ever. and ever. even we have some newcomers here we have probably not seen on international level and live stream like the Singapore team of course they have participated in a uh, so in a kind of Pan Pacific Cup but not with a live stream or not on a certain level so here teams uh, he has a lot of history is made now because we have a lot of teams that are meeting each other the first time in history. And, and here's Turkey again is again on the uh, attack on the uh, Austrian basket. You see this player number 12 trying to steal the defender position, but we are expecting right now a very hard beginning from the Turkish team, which will try to score in the first, let's say, two minutes. If they do so, what uh, what is usually their their method, like? coming very massive at the beginning from the beginning making a score or maybe they're they're feeling enough with their 5-0 because like now they're just relaxing a bit but you see the next pattern Hakan is here making the position receiving the ball by number 14 but he lost the ball unfortunately there was no goal but it was a very good try Thorsten, you stop talking. No, Are you I'm still awake? Watching. I'm just watching. <laughs> it's quite nice, you know, it's very, it's very nice to see what the Turkish team is doing here but trying to keep the ball close to the basket. But the Turkish are really efficient, really good ball control, really fast. It is, uh, it, for me, in this game, they showed they are the top, one of the top teams here uh, in the Champions Cup. And I think uh, they are able to go really high uh, in the in the scoring the nice thing is that you if you compare the top teams like Bamberg Akaran Orkers they all have the strategy to mm. score and they're, nice but they're nice all defense. quite different you know a flipper yes. is the same so they all have a, like a one game play one um, one you can say a, a couple of tricks or a couple of movements or pattern they're they're using and it will be very very nice to see which which strategy will pay off this year the best? So far, uh, the Turkish team are putting a lot of, they're playing a bit, you know, they're, they're going with the body inside and keeping the, with the long arms and the ball, keeping in the hands with long arms away from the baskets while the body and the head is pushing against the defender or the goalkeeper. And then they're trying to make with the long arms any pass, if it's blind or if it's between the legs or between the back. Um, to bring an, uh, an, an another player in a good position and uh, this is also something we've not not seen b of, of many teams and uh, I have to say the the Austrian defense the way they try to interfere directly in the in the ball in inside in the ball movement of the Turkish team is quite good oh, we lost your mask well, our uh, whole equipment was, was uh, torn off attacking is probably a Turkish player who attacked right now but we could not see if it was a foul or not. What happened? There? And the de and the attacks of the Turkish are really like with a uh, with a lot of force. So you see if uh, when the the Italians try to interfere. Sorry, I said Austrians. Ha. Yeah. Uh, when the Italians try to interfere, they have to go in with a lot of force to stop them and rip and you them see out you need of the, the attack. attacker to defend this. So it's always when the attacker has been there in time, you know, pushing against the the attacking player from from above. This is when there's no goal occurring on the other hand if they have the chance to to push their their strong bodies against the goalkeeper without being um, 
uh, being attacked or touched, it's 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 quite often a uh, yeah quite often a goal. Very well defended now by the Italians. Yeah, the passes they are very nice. You know, you see how they how massive and strong they're passing the ball um, through the through the uh, defense opponent behind defender. the defense. Yeah. So under the head, uh, through the legs, very close to the to the head. They're passing the ball. Oh, this was also a, a lucky one. So just a player tried to uh, to score in an empty goal, which so was just throwing the ball from the surface. Try to um, to throw it in the empty net, but it didn't work out. But it was a good chance. Uh, why not? Why not? Just try. And On again, we have now the Turkish team again. Now you see here with the body inside, keeping the ball away. Now waiting for the pass, and now they bring. There was no opportunity to pass the ball. But this, this is the, the, the intelligent game, the Turkish yeah. play. They know when they have to pull out and try again uh, another time because they are not like running bulls going into. They they see the chance if they have a chance to to duck in into the defense. But if not, they pull out and start another attack. Very yeah. intelligent, very adaptable uh, attacks we see here. And the Italians are uh, very well defending right now. They... Uh, put everything they have on this could be another one this there is, is no defender stealing the basket and it's inside the number seven unfortunately we don't know the name um so yeah. if anyone in the chat can give us maybe the the numbers or the names so if you if you recognize any player just let us know write the number and the name behind to support us a bit uh, unfortunately we just have a team list you can see the same team list we have on the champions cup homepage. and um, there's a six zero now goal was made by number seven and uh yeah that was a very nice goal uh, from one attacker, from Turkish attacker, above the Italian uh, goalkeeper. So we see Italian in the attack, but there's a lot of Turkish bodies uh, right in the way of the Turkish. Uh, and attacker. I think the game is over now. Oh, this uh, the penalty? No, 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 no. Is it penalty? It's a penalty. It's a penalty. It's a penalty sign. I'm not. Sh oh. <laughs> So this is crazy, yeah. If it really is a penalty, this would be awesome because uh, this was the only very, the very single chance Firenze had today. I was, I was, to be honest, I complained a bit that when they attacked the goal, they, they took so much time. So it was like this player coming from down. He was just pushing a bit and he was just keeping the ball very, very easily, like he was alone in the water. And uh, but as you see, it was. was I'm curious what happens now, and I'm, I would I'd like it's to a, know who's the oh executor. It's a yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But what would happen now in the penalty? Yeah. And I would really like to know who's we'll the executor from we'll the try Italians. Try to find out the number. Then he's, he's a big guy. He's a big guy. I don't know him. If you see any number. No. Whoa. Oh, very well strong. Was very nice, massive. Very was a nice first move. But now he's tackled by the yeah. Turkish player right in front. He and needs to get free. He needs to get, to get free. free. But it's very massive. I but don't know if this is still, if this is really controlled. So we see the, the referee is giving advantage. There will be this this free throw will be repeated, as this is not allowed. What the player number nine is doing here? Whoa! And they're giving oh. oh, they're giving this goal. So that was uh, very well fought. And yeah. um, it is a, it is a goal. If this would have not been a goal, the referee has already shown rising the hand advantage. for advantage. What means that if there was n there would have been no goal. They would have need to repeat the penalty. So far, it was made. We could not see the number. So, if you know who scored this goal from Italy, please let us know, guys. If there's any Firenze supporter and you recognize this player, please provide us the name. Very well played, uh, played by the Italian attacker, especially when they dive down again from the surface. Uh, he made a very nice move over the head of the Turkish uh, Turkish uh, defender. So it's a one uh, s to six uh, for Firenze and White against, uh, uh, yeah, well, Turkey is leading 6-1 against Firenze and Turkey is playing in blue and uh, Firenze is playing in white. And uh, it's, it's incredible how fast the Turkish players are inside the Italian defense. And even be long before the, the, go the ball appears inside uh, the uh, defensive perimeter of the Italians, there are already Turkish players waiting there. Yeah, this was a very nice pass. I don't know if you have seen that. This was also an awesome game style. So this is what, what is the main uh, advantage of the Turkish players, so that they can make very strong and very uh, strict passes 
on short and even long distances so there was a player he has seen a small free tunnel uh, at the bottom so under the, the legs of the defender and he's seen on the other side a guy so he pushed the ball immediately very strong on the other side and the ball without any uh, yeah, any lose of speed he just get that through and, and, and received the other player who could immediately take the ball pick it up and then um, forward it to, to attack so this was very very nice done fast attack now from a Turkish uh, there's a shoulder again. the basket maybe I don't know if they've seen that no call yet no and it was a fast attack and the defender was behind him goalie was on the goal but the defender made a good job of tackling yeah. away this attack it's only 40 seconds left now so the players here are at the surface. I think the Turkish players are just keeping the brave. I don't know if there's a three throw or not. So maybe they're just in a, in a scrum now. But so far we don't see the ball. Now they're coming massive. Now there's a change, yeah. Oh, this is what they're probably going to do. They're attacking immediately in the change of the goalkeepers. The goalkeeper was not really in position. Oh, he hit the face. This was very hard with the ball. He, got he tried to score with the ball and hit a bit the face, but the goalkeeper seems to be all right and okay so the last five seconds four three two one and the game is over so we have a seven one victory for the turkish team from ismir what is not Ege? this is denise Yil 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 well uh, it was it was Ege. it, it, it was is Ege the old Ege team yeah they split off uh, from Ege. Uh, and they founded a new team something like that we don't know exactly the history or the background but we know that it's not that it's more or less some players we already have seen here but with a different club name they or they participated they founded their own club or something so um so far but well done from Firenze of course they have just one chance and they made a good job so they received the penalty and even they made the penalty very professional so um yeah it's an honor for them just to score and it was a good uh, uh, penalty he, he played right quite well in this game so next uh, game coming up um, are the sea dragons um, victoria sea dragons from australia against uh, the female against um, firenze female and the sea dragons are going to play in blue and firenze is going to play in white this is the next uh, game coming up And this is the first game of the Sea Dragons here. So their uh, debut game here at the Champions Cup. Let's see what they have in store. How? Oh, be careful with the uh, microphone, please. Lorena is coming back here and Thorsten is leaving me. Please don't go, please don't go. Okay, thank you very much, Thorsten Sanchez, uh, the coach uh, of the German U21 uh, team. Uh, always nice uh, c commentating with him. A uh, lot of knowledge, a lot of insight. And uh, now I have uh, the love of my life back with me, Lorena. And uh, we will uh, comment the next uh, female game, the Victoria Sea Dragons, the first game of the day uh, from Australia. And they are playing in uh, blue and uh, Firenze from Italy playing in white and let's see what uh, referees we have here um, this is uh, Birgit Lutke from Germany is a uh, chief referee out of the water and uh, Lars from Denmark is uh, in the water and Robert from Austria is in the water too so I can hey Lorena I welcome can back uh, let me read the the teams all right so everyone paying attention Victoria Sea Dragons from Australia in blue. blue. You said, and we have the four: Tanya blue. five, blue. Natalie blue. nine, Sarah Ma um, Malek, and ten is Sarah McCarthy. Eleven, Lucero. Catorce, uh, sorry, fourteen, Jenny Jane. Sorry. Uh, Twenty, Yvette. Twenty-one, Emma. Twenty-nine, Sonia. Thirty, Fong. Alicia. 39 Claire, 52 Manuela, 58 Natalie, and 88 Sophie. And with the Italian women, we they're in white, right? And we have the two Anita, um, number three Irene, 
Oh, I have just the family names here. Mm. Uh, and I don't remember the names of all of them. Five is um, Margarita. Eight is uh, Willy. Mm. Ten is Valentina. That's something wrong. Then I have two number tens. Mm, I don't know. Uh, Twelve is Weiss. Twenty-two Beverhofer. Twenty-five Pavoni. Twenty-eight Cresti. Twenty-nine Capecchi. Forty-four Pelusio. Eighty-six Tomschitz. Ninety Brogelli. And ninety-one DM. Uh, for whatever reason, I have the family names of most of them. And I hope that that's accurate. Um, again, if you realize uh, that the teams uh, didn't actualize their lists, then tell them to bring us an actualized uh, roster here to the cabin so we can stay updated. Hello Italy, are you watching? Uh, who's watching from Italy and from where are you watching? And uh, supporting your uh, Firenze team and also uh, people from Australia watching. Uh, where are you from? And tell us where your city is and we see uh, fans going in front of the camera. So this is the uh, first game, Lorena, of uh, the Victoria Sea Dragons at the Champions Cup. Yeah. Yeah. What? This is this is the f this is the first game they're going to play. They didn't play earlier today. No. Okay. So they're uh, uh, the other Australian team. The. Uh, the whales already played, but uh, the sea dragons haven't played yet. Whales have played.